Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes for all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Pisces weekly love message for the upcoming week. In this message, Pisces, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We're going to see what's challenging you this week and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you're interested in a personal reading, the information is linked below in the description box. Pisces, I can already see where this is going. A similar message to Cancer, so you could be dealing with Cancer or have Cancerian energy in your chart. But this is an energy of getting clear on what you want your bigger picture vision to look like. And this doesn't necessarily have to be in relationships, even though this is a love message. This could be just getting clear in life in general. But I feel here, Pisces, this is something that you're actively doing right now. It's like you've withdrawn your energy Hold back to get clear on what you want your future to look like. Now, the reason why it's important to get clear on this bigger picture vision, Pisces, is so you can see who and what is in alignment and who and what isn't. Now, do you feel like you are freeing yourself from a person in your life that you feel has been holding you back for some time or, or are in the process of doing so? I do feel like your wall is up. You are guarded. There is a need to set boundaries, okay, with this person um, to get clear on what that bigger picture vision looks like. So if this is having to deal with relationships, what do you want your relationship to look like in a year, in five years, in 10 years? And do you want to keep enduring this same relationship pattern or do you want more? Now we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment, Pisces. It's almost as if you need to express yourself to a particular person in your life, what it is that you truly want from them. Or let this go. So let's clarify. Now again, if you find the message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you're interested in a personal reading, information is linked below. It's a lot of love here. But I feel here there's also been a lot of conflict, maybe even competing for this person's time and attention. And you're starting to pull back. Okay. Ten of Cups symbolizes the love that's between the two of you. Again, Pisces, I definitely feel like there is an intense connection here between you and this person. But it's almost as if you have to put your own stability first. Mm -hmm. There's that crossroad energy, two of wands. Okay. Pisces, you have a decision to make here. You have put a pause on this for the time being, but you're getting ready to walk away from something that is no longer serving you. Okay. Even if you feel drawn to this person, the message is very clear here. Nope, no more questioning. Okay, if you're questioning the connection, if you're, con if you're questioning this person's intentions, then that is a sign from the universe to pull back. Pull back, wait and see. I do feel here, Pisces, that it this is an energy of letting go and moving forward. Even though right now you're still at a crossroad, for a majority of you, the message is very clear. You're getting ready to walk away. So let's pull a few cards for advice moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. Again, if you're interested in a personal reading, the information is linked below. letting go, moving forward, healing from this particular situation that's been draining your energy, causing you to feel stagnant. I definitely feel like you are at a crossroad. Two of Wands is coming out twice. Slowly but surely, you're going to start seeing 
where you want to focus your time, attention, and energy, and where you want to release. Trust the process here, Pisces, because I feel like this person that you're walking away from, they have been draining your energy for some time. It's time to let this go. Your four truths message coming out for your reading, Pisces, is don't make assumptions. Speak openly and honestly. When you speak openly and honestly, you won't have to make assumptions. The day you stop making assumptions will be you will communicate cleanly and clearly and achieve impeccability with your word. Speak openly and honestly. Beautiful, beautiful. So Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Again, the main message I get from this entire reading, getting clear on what you want the outcome to be and moving forward in a positive direction. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.